It would mean some kids would miss out on important programs like the Breakfast Club. Food is imperative, right? Food for them, they don't, they may not have at home and they may uh, not eat until they get to school. So that was my first inclination is when Emily wrote that. I said, I'm consistently worrying about my kids. Yasmin is a high school teacher. She and a number of volunteers started the Georgina Pop-Up Breakfast Club so kids in need wouldn't go hungry. In order to, to get a bag, you literally have to send us a message. That's it. So you send us a message and say, you know, I have a child that's missing their their, their breakfast club. Done. There's no application process. There's, you know, there's no betting. It's you have a kid who's hungry like that. that it's that simple. Volunteers go out individually and buy items to fill healthy breakfast baskets. However, it wouldn't be possible without community support. People have been donating money, which has helped get more than 50 baskets delivered. Georgina is uh, an area that's already geographically isolated. Um, that's got lots of pros and cons. Um, but one of the pros, and I think we've spoken to this many times, uh, we have a, a real sense of community. And as Yasmin mentioned, there is a real sense of need. The group is also very serious about social distancing. They no longer pack healthy snacks together. They also have a system when dropping off the breakfast baskets. And we go and do a porch drop off. Uh, there's no face to face contact. And then we send um, Emily a message saying, OK, it successfully dropped off at such and such address. And then Emily will let them know and um, that their package has been delivered. On Breakfast Club Canada's website, they claim that one in five children go to school hungry, which is why the volunteers hope others start their own programs. We physically cannot extend, but we can certainly help people uh, do something similar in their communities. If you'd like more information on Georgina's pop-up Breakfast Club, head to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. Brandon Rose, City News.